Art has always been a reflection of human creativity and imagination. But what happens when we combine the power of artificial intelligence with the creativity of humans? In this video, we'll explore how mid-journey is changing the way we think about art and creativity and why it's become a viral sensation around the world. Mid-journey creates artwork that's so original and creative it'll make your head spin. And the best part? No two pieces are alike. It's like an art-making machine that never runs out of ideas. The process starts with a set of images that the algorithm uses to learn patterns and features. Then it creates new images similar to the original set, but also has unique variations. Think of it like a mad scientist who's mixing together different art styles to create something completely new and unexpected, and the results are mind-blowing. From swirling colors to intricate patterns, Mid-Journey's AI-generated art is like nothing you've ever seen before. It's like a kaleidoscope on steroids. And the best part? You don't have to be an art critic to appreciate its beauty. It's art that speaks to everyone, no matter your taste or background. Midjourney is the AI art generator that's taking the world by storm. Its unique and original pieces of art are a testament to the power of technology and human creativity. So whether you're an art lover, a tech enthusiast, or just someone who appreciates a good mind-blowing experience, Midjourney is definitely worth checking out. Who knows? Maybe it'll even inspire you to create something amazing of your own. To try it out, all you gotta do is go to Midjourney's website, click on join the beta, and sign in using Discord. So as soon as you log in through Discord and join their Midjourney server, you'll probably land in one of these Nibby servers or Nibby rooms, and you can go down to the bottom. To get started, just type in slash imagine and then just type in your prompt and in this case let's type in a samurai holding a katana and a japanese street and i'm just gonna press enter just a basic prompt to see how things go Okay, so here's the result of our samurai holding a katana in a Japanese street. The UI is pretty simple, but if you are in one of these ch channels, people are normally always creating images and your uh, prompt is probably going to get mixed up. So I recommend just clicking on the Discord ones and scrolling it and scrolling up to it. And that's going to hold on the image and the prompt where you are. From the top, it's upscaling the first, second, third and fourth. Upscaling means that if, if I want to upscale the first one, it's gonna increase the resolution and basically upscale that first uh, image that was created. If I want to create more versions or variations of the uh, one of these images, I can do that using V1, V2, V3, and V4. And this refresh button right here, all it does is basically run the same prompt again. Um, sometimes when I'm, you know, making something, I will run it four or five times. Or sometimes when you're trying to get a specific detail uh, into your prompts, uh, I even have ran prompts like 20 times just to get that detail right in those images. Um, the UI is always cluttered because there's so many people always creating images. So what you can do is, uh, I think, from over here show members list and click on the mid journeys bot and add it to your server if you have your own server like i have my own server i have uh, i've added this bot to my own server and that's where i use mid journey and like and then there i have a channel right here mj ali and that's where i create my mid journey images it helps reduce the clutter and your images stay where they're supposed to so you don't have to always keep scrolling up and down and it keeps things very clear and optimized, I would say. So I'm going to show the settings settings right here. MJ version 1, 2, 3, 4 and Niji. Well, m version 4 is the latest one that's out right now. And version 5 is coming out most probably next week or the week after. Right now they're working on it and um, testing. And I did rate a couple of uh, images. And made a video about it and it's gonna be in the comments below niji is their mode for anime or cartoon or anime creation 
and it's it's pretty cool uh, and then they have these test versions as well mj test when it's mid journey test mode mid journey photo if you want to create something photo related quality is related to um when you upscale an image so if you uh, for version four high quality uh, times two is not active right now oh uh, but the base quality does a really really good job as well and uh, one of the most important modes that i wanted to talk about is the fast and relaxed mode if you're a free user i just recommend using the fast mode because you only have 25 to 30 um uh, prompts that you can uh, do but if you are a paid user these these things come handy a lot I normally when I'm like really really into working on it I would uh, do fast mode and with fast mode it consumes the GPU hours and when I need to upscale a bunch of images I would just change it to um, relax and then just upscale a bunch of images like for example I'm just gonna click on rela uh, relax mode right now and then basically like upscale all of these images it's gonna take a second it's gonna probably take um four to five minutes for all of these to um get upscaled but okay let's do a basic overview of uh the back end of midjourney.com as well as soon as you log in you'll uh this is the home page where you'll be able to see all the creations, all the art that you've created or upscaled. Right now, my filters are to upscaled images only and the new ones. So this is good. This is showing us all the images that I just upscaled. And look how beautiful and detailed they look. I think the Samurai Warrior should be upscaled as well. So I'm just going to refresh. No, it's, it's still being worked on. So I'm going to show you their plans. So they are, they have a $10 plan, which has limited generations of 200, about 200 only, which comes with access to memory, uh, memory gallery. And you can also add top ups and it also allows you to do three fast jobs at a time with the standard plan, which I have. It has 15 fast, 15 hours of fast generations, but unlimited relaxed generations. So this is what I was talking about about before. That if you have a $30 or above plan, what you can do is just if you have a bunch of uh, uh, art that you've created and you want to upscale it, I what what I do is I think it's a good practice is just change it to relaxed mode and then start upscaling them one at a time or four at a time, ten at a time. Uh, I think the limit is three jobs at a time and then everything else gets into queue. The first three jobs are done and then the first come first. Third. Let's also see what the community has been creating. So this is the explore, explore tab brings us to the community feed. And this shows us um, the popular designs the community has made this week. And you, you can see how beautiful and detailed these images are like a simple prompt of a bright assorted stack of swamp frogs. Ultra sharp photography gives us this very, very detailed, beautiful image. Uh, and this is V4. So just think about it. This is just V4 and we, V5, the version five of mid journey is coming out very, very soon. And they're saying that it's going to be a lot more better than this, a lot more detailed, a lot more better resolution and, and, and the upscaling is going to be faster as well. So I hope, uh, I hope that I hope to see that soon and I'm very, very excited to use it. Um, you can see that there's ways to create like studio, people are creating like studio Ghibli style, um, uh, landscape images as well. And then there's people who are creating these beautiful images like this as well. But let's go back to home and refresh once to see if the Samurai Warrior is done or not. Okay, it's done. So these are the Samurai Warriors that I just upscaled that we created during this tutorial. And if I want to change, if I want to use the same uh, prompt and change it into like an anime style or a cartoon style, 
it'll be, it'll be creating a completely different piece with its own style. I can also change it to cyberpunk style or pirate style, or it can be something, you know. There's many, many, many different designs that Midjourney recognizes. Let's go back. I also wanted to show you guys uh, um, how to use your own pictures to create a, an avatar of yourself. So I'm just gonna, I have this Pix um, channel um inside my server so that's what i use for uh to edit pictures or create uh, art using pictures or images so i'm just gonna put my picture in so first you upload your picture and then you can either right click over here oh right click over here and copy image address or you can open a new browser and then copy this url on top go back and then we'll do the same forward slash imagine you put the the link in first and then you type in the prompt so what i'm gonna do uh tell it uh, to turn my picture into anime style and then add muscles on top and tattoos oh we can do tribal tattoos male masculine and a suit and then I'm gonna also tell it the aspect ratio of what I want it to be. And the way I tell Midjourney that is dash dash AR, which stands for aspect ratio. And then I'm gonna do a landscape image to ratio one. Let's see what it does. While we wait for this, I can show you what I've been recently creating using one of the Demon Slayer um demons and i uploaded that image and you wanted to turn it into um a different type of demon so anime style demon slayer reference and then demon that's all i did but i didn't create a similar image and this was another one of the images that i was using to create an anime style demon slayer very simplistic prompts right here so just because I used landscape, what I did was replicate the same person two times or three times as well. Okay, now that it's done, I'm gonna click on it, just open it in a new browser, and this is what it did. And it basically did a remake of my image, added muscles onto it, put a suit on me, and added some tattoos even on the shirt well this is the one that i like so i'm i'm just gonna upscale this but this is basically how you can use your own picture and turn it into um, anime style cartoon style create your own avatar you don't always have to use aspect ratio 2 by uh one over here i use it because i wanted a landscape image there are other uh, aspect ratios as well which are AR one by two, which would create vertical image. And then if you don't write any aspect ratio and what it creates as a square image like this, like we did right here, a complete square image. And that's a basic tutorial of how to start creating art using Midjourney. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have feedback or if you want to see more like it, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.